We'll talk about how bad it could sure. be, right? So you said if this thing busts, you have a hundred meter tall. So it's like a like a thirty five story building yes. rushing a hundred. You, know, like you said a hundred kilometers per hour. I don't even know that's fast. Thirty minutes, a city of four million people would just be gone, right? And that would just be yes, would just be gone, right? Totally gone. And then in an hour, another city of six million people swept away. Five hours, another five and a half million people under fifteen feet of water, which like that's devastating, right? I mean, I feel we have flooding in America from time to time. I've never seen flooding of 15 feet. And then really? 10 hours, it would it would affect this nice little quaint village of Wuhan, which I've never heard of until five months ago, with 11 million people, and it would just go all the way to Shanghai, right? Yes. <laughs> it, I mean, it would, when you, when you really think about the, the astronomical loss it would be in human life in um, industrial resources and capacity. I mean, that that really is, that really is the industrial heart of the world. Uh, the Yangtze, you know, mm -hmm. Yangtze River Economic Basin is what they call it. And upland from the dam, you have, you know, Chongqing is is kind of the main one, Chengdu as well. Um, when you get downstream of the dam, you're talking about, you know, Yi Chang, Yi Yang, uh, Wuhan, and because I've been doing work in China for 15 years. Logistically, I'm pretty intimately familiar with a lot of these cities that most people have never heard of because they're huge manufacturing hubs. Like what? Can you put that into context, uh, either specifics or just big numbers? Yeah, so about 20, so China manufactures 28% of all the hard goods in the world. And that could be things like chemicals, it could be furniture, garments, retail, pharmaceuticals. Um, and you know fertilizer um so 28 percent of all of the world's manufacturing production is concentrated in china half of china's economic production and industrial base is located along the yangtze river wow so so, it, so when you think about if all of that were just to blink out of existence for six to eight months because of you know because of a, a biblical flood you'd be talking about 15 percent of the world's capacity would just go offline Whoa, good night. And that would be way worse than like a COVID disruption, <laughs> right? You it would can't be. just rebuild that. It would be. Wow. I mean, when when you when Wuhan first shut down at the end of or at the at the onset of the COVID-19 outbreak, uh, it was uh, absolutely catastrophic to supply chains. Any company that had employees there um, or uh, factory capacity was dependent on it in some way logistically, when that when that just completely shut down, it completely altered the flow of ocean traffic. It altered the flow of cargo traffic for, you know, via airplane uh, and was something that took months to truly unwind. Uh, being on the back of the Lunar New Year when they shut down the whole country for basically two and a half weeks and then COVID shut everything down for almost a month. So just that one region being on lockdown uh, the industrial capacity was still there. The machines were all still there. They just didn't have people to run it. Now imagine if mm. not only did they not have the people to run it, but everything just went away anyway. Like it just did, it blinked out of existence. All the buildings were gone. All the machines were gone. Wow. That was deep and insightful. I want more of that. Like, subscribe, get more.